Because nutrition is not owned by any one sector, because of the way we've organized ourselves, uh, the health sector has a role to play, of course, education has a role to play, the agriculture and the food system also, of course, extremely important in addressing malnutrition. And so um, uh, mobilizing different sectors in society is really a crucial element of success in addressing malnutrition. And that includes, of course, uh, the health sector, the food system, community development organizations, but it also includes a private sector, civil society, um, as well as government. And so uh, all of those coming together, of course, being critical, requires us to have another look at which channels um, we can activate uh, to benefit beneficiaries or consumers that are at risk of malnutrition or, or need to ensure good nutrition for them. This is especially true um, among adolescent girls. Adolescent girls are at the pivot of breaking the cycle of poverty and of malnutrition, and yet ironically they're the most difficult to reach, often the most marginalized, married off too early, often without a voice in the household, often pregnant before they finished growing. And so public systems uh, or public channels of delivery um, haven't been effective in reaching them at large scale, and we need to look at a number of other channels to do that. There are a number of uh, interventions that have gone to scale that um, continue to reinforce the evidence base that they work. Uh, promotion of breastfeeding, for example, exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of life, and continued breastfeeding uh, continues to um, demonstrate uh, many of the benefits related to child survival, uh, related to um, mental health, related to reductions um, in the risks associated with illnesses and overweight and obesity and so on. So, so there are interventions like large-scale food fortification, again from a, a large-scale perspective that can reduce uh, baseline micronutrient deficiencies, uh, iron deficiency in, in particular uh, and folic acid deficiencies. These have shown to work, um, but they require of course a, a uh, multiple actors playing, playing their part. It's not a ring fence project that will deliver um, that kind of success. But around uh, innovation, I think that um, there's some interesting things happening now in the use of mobile technology and um, enhancing those well-established interventions so that they can reach more people and perhaps be more effective in a shorter time frame, more cost effectively. In South Africa, uh, we are working with um, cell phone operators and um, taking advantage of the very deep penetration of mobile phone usage in population in South Africa among um, all social economic groups to extend government messaging around the importance of infant feeding and optimal care practices, um, uh, hand washing, maternal nutrition, a whole range of, of messages related to, to good nutrition, and extending these through cell phones. Uh, people receive the information, but then also quizzing them and uh, offering a reward for an 80% or higher understanding of the information through these quizzes uh, using cell phone pay-as-you-go airtime. And in that context, the pay-as-you-go airtime is, is valued very, um, very highly. And so that we're seeing this as a motivator for uh, not only being at the receiving end of information, but, but interacting with it, uh, understanding it better, and hopefully seeing that translated into, into change behavior.